How do you use a photographic enlarger to create a print from a negative so that the dimensions stay in the proper proportion? In this lesson, you will learn how to solve word problems by doing dilations using various scale factors. Let's review. A dilation takes a preimage to an image using a scale factor and a center of dilation. In this diagram, A, B, C, D is the preimage. The center of dilation is point P, and the image under dilation is A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime, and it has a scale factor of 2. You should notice that the vertices of A and A prime are on the same line going through the center P. In other words, A prime is on the ray PA. You should also notice that PA prime is two times as large as PA. The scale factor k of a, b, c, d to a prime, b prime, c prime, d prime is the ratio of the lengths of the corresponding sides of the image to the preimage. And under dilation, a prime, b prime, c prime, d prime is two times as large as a, b, c, d. If you want to enlarge a play ticket stub for your scrapbook, and you'll make an enlargement of 300% on the copier, what will the dimensions of your enlarged image be? Let's look at our play ticket. It is 6.4 centimeters by 5 centimeters long, and we want to enlarge that. We must first look at our k value or our ratio. In this case, it's written as a percent, 300 percent, and we can write 300 percent as the ratio of 300 to 100, which simplifies to 3. So our scale factor is 3. Therefore, we can work with the pre-image or the original ticket widths and lengths to find the image widths and lengths, which is going to be in our enlargement. If we take the k value times the ticket width, we'll get the copy width. So if we take 3 times 6.4 centimeters, we get a copy width of 19.2 centimeters. If we take k times the ticket length, we will get the copy length. So 3 times 5 centimeters is equal to 15 centimeters. Therefore, the dimensions of our enlarged image will be 15 centimeters by 19.2 centimeters. If you're asked to find the dimensions of a regulation tennis court, you're told that they're 27 feet by 78 feet, and that the dimensions of a table tennis table are 152.5 centimeters by 274 centimeters. And you want to figure out if the table tennis table is a dilation of the tennis court. Here we have a diagram of the table tennis table at 274 centimeters by 152.5 centimeters. In order for this to be a dilation, the ratio of the table tennis length to the tennis court length must be equal to the ratio of the table tennis width to the tennis court width. So let's look at that. If we look at their lengths, we would have 274 centimeters to 78 feet, and we need to figure out if that's equal to 152.5 centimeters to 27 feet. You do not need to worry about converting the units because both ratios have the same corresponding units. When you divide each of them, we get k equaling 3.513 and 5.648. Since these are not equal to each other, the k values are not the same, and the table tennis table is not a dilation of the tennis court. Here we have a photographic enlarger. The question is, to what distance kk prime should you adjust the enlarger to create a 22.75 centimeter wide print x prime y prime from a 35 millimeter wide negative xy? The distance between the light source m and the negative is 45 millimeters, and that length is mk. You should notice that this is a dilation with a center point at m the pre-image xy and the image at xy, x prime, y prime. We need to find the length of the distance between k and k prime. And we must first look at the scale factor k. And that scale factor is going to equal the length of x prime, y prime divided by xy, which is 22.75 centimeters, which is the same as 227.5 millimeters. And xy is 35 millimeters. And that ratio would be 227.5 divided by 35, which simplifies to 6.5 as our scale factor. Since m is the center of dilation, the length of m k prime will need to be 6.5 times as large as m k. So 6.5 times 45 is equal to 292.5. 
so that's how long mk prime needs to be. Our job, though, is to find the distance from k to k prime in order for this enlarger to be set properly and give a correct dilation of the negative. We know by segment addition that mk plus kk prime is going to give us the length of mk prime. By plugging in the information we know, we have 45 plus kk prime equals 292.5. We can solve for kk prime and get the measurement being 247.5. Therefore, you need to adjust the enlarger so that kk prime is 24.75 centimeters, which is the same as 247.5 millimeters. In this lesson, you've learned how to solve word problems by doing dilations using various scale factors.